I'm Michael Hartmann, chef concierge at the Intercontinental Cologne, and I'm your man to take you on a special tour through our vibrant city. Our hotel is right in the middle of everything. We have Hohe Straße on our right-hand side, the world-famous shopping street leading to the cathedral, and on our left we have the museums and the old town. So now we are standing in front of Groß St. Martin, the former town's landmark. It is part of the old town with a lot of bars and restaurants around where they serve the beer of Cologne. We call it the champagne of the region and it's Kölsch. Welcome to the Walraff Richard Museum, our favorite museum here in Cologne with its works from the 13th to the 19th century. What's special about our museum is that you have got the chance to see art of the last 700 years in just one and a half hour. Welcome to the Farina House, the birthplace of Eau de Cologne, the oldest fragrance in the world. We have very nice souvenir bottles of the fragrance, which you can buy here, and you can have a look at the museum. Johann Maria Farina originally was Italian, but uh, but came to Cologne in 1709, and then uh, named the perfume after his new uh, his new home, and that, that was Cologne. So we called it Eau de Cologne, which means all waters from Cologne. The shopping opportunities in Cologne are endless. Welcome to the biggest outdoor store in Europe, Global Trotter. And here you find everything which you need for the bigger and smaller adventures in life, such as, of course, the equipment for going on a boat. It's not that easy, I tell you. Or staying in a tent. And the funny thing is, you can test everything here. Most important is our customer service. That includes the expert advice of our staff members and the possibility for our customers to test all the equipment they can buy here. Right now we are in Mittelstraße, one of the best shopping areas in Cologne. But there is a shop which you really cannot miss. Welcome to Apropos Cologne. In this temple of luxury you find the latest collection of all the famous designers of course. But there's far more to see, such as a day spa, a bar and restaurant, and even an art gallery. So now, after you've seen so many things in the city, you must definitely be hungry. So let me tell you a little bit about our restaurants, each good for a different occasion. Since tradition plays a big role in Cologne, we have to visit this place, Haus Scholzen, founded in 1907. Try the homemade Ehrenfelder Senfrostbraten, since it doesn't come from the kitchen, it comes right from heaven, and the homemade schnapps called Scholzen's Jagd. Many of our guests have been coming to a restaurant for many years, foreigners and locals. Our first desire is always to guarantee your satisfaction. <laughs> Welcome to Cap am Südkai, a restaurant, bar and lounge located next to the river so that you can, in summertime, enjoy your glass of wine directly on the, one of the tables outside on the terrace. We recommend to take the surprise menu for that. In a very unpretentious street of the city, you will find a true jewel of the French cuisine, La Société. Hi and welcome to La Société, the tiny little restaurant in the heart of Cologne. We serve good food, we have a huge wine list for more than 400 wines, a huge selection of cheese, and we would like to spoil you a whole evening. We will be happy if you would come and see us and let us do the renovation for you. So Cologne has many happening places, like the theaters, the museums, the opera house, and of course the arena on the other side of the river. And I'm going to show you the best happening places. Welcome to Köln Arena, the biggest function hall in Europe where 19,500 people can be seated. The first league ice hockey team and the basketball team are playing here as well. And the setting can be changed for concerts, for motocross championships, for whatever you can imagine. Of course, we can get you tickets for any kind of function here, but especially we can book you in one of the VIP lounges where I'm sitting now. So now we have reached the Dome Cathedral, built in 1248 and therefore still a main attraction in Cologne. There are many legends around this building and of course we can tell you all the stories if you like. One advice would be to go to the Mass in the very early morning since you can enjoy the quietness and the power of the building. Friesenstraße is the biggest bar district in town, but if you're looking for the best bar in Cologne, you don't have to leave the hotel. 
It's right in here. Welcome to Harry's New York Bar. One of the great drinks what we have in Harry's New York Bar is uh, Prince of Wales. Oh, the best day to be here is just the weekend. The bar is full and we have live music. So now we have already seen many of the secret spots of the city, but of course there's far more to be discovered. And we will be waiting here for you at the Intercontinental Cologne.